program, I guess. Well, the Commemorative Air Force was started by a bunch of World War II vets that didn't want to see their history uh, just disappear. So they, they got some old World War II airplanes, and the organization is developed into what it is today. We have about 130, 35 aircraft in the world that fly, and we keep history alive. The Germans called, nicknamed the, the B-17 the porcupine because of all the machine guns on it. And with all the guns on this airplane, there's 12 50 caliber guns on the, this model that we have, and some models had 13 guns. The, the point being, you would you'd try to cover all the spots you could without hitting your own airplane, the fields of fire of the weapons. And then the formations were boxes that they weren't just for looks, they were for weapons effectiveness. Overlapping fields of fire increases the odds that you're going to hit the fighter. Different times during the, war. Uh, the early part of the war, the, the really the key to survival was fighter escort and the fighters didn't have the range in the early part of the war. Uh, they would escort the bombers as far as they could and then the Germans would jump on them as soon as the German fighters would attack as soon as the, our fighters turned back. The key to that problem and partially was drop tanks. The P-51 Mustang in particular with its external fuel tanks could go the distance all the way to the target to Germany and all the way back home with the, with the bombers and keep them safe. Now they tried to avoid civilian populations. They would go after aircraft factories. You know, uh, one of the other big raids, the Ploesti Romania uh, raid was another big one for oil refineries to, you know, same, same thing. You don't have the lubricants for the machines, they can't operate. You, you, you destroy the enemy's uh, war making capability. The Texas Raiders B-17 uh, came off the assembly line in July of 1945. Never saw combat. It was actually assigned to the United States Navy until 1955. This is the, uh, the granddaddy of the AWACS. That's what it was. They, put, they sealed up the bomb bay, they put a ray dome on it, and it served as a Navy patrol airplane. Uh, We've had people that had relatives that were killed or served in this same kind of plane. One was a ball turret gunner. We, we can roll the ball turret around, open the hatch. They put his photograph in the ball turret and took photos of it. That in itself just it tears your heart up. Uh, there's a massive amount of history with this airplane. People that know of it, people that had a relative that had something to do with it. And uh, in other warbirds that I've flown, I've known people that had parents that actually built the airplanes. Uh, so it's, if you're a history buff, and you, I mean, you never want to forget history. This, is, this airplane is one of the reasons that we speak English in America and not German, uh, because we put, we put uh, the Third Reich out of business from a war-making standpoint.